it really was quite comical. All the folks at the big table down at the Buckerberg and Dollar Dog was sitting around like a troop of macaque monkeys, and they were grooming each other. Yes, I said grooming each other. Krusty Bergeron was picking stuff off Charlie Lutferger's back. Loretta Webster was picking stuff off Minnie Simpson's shoulder. My friend Binky Sears was looking through stuff in Luther Pomeroy's hair, and all of this was because of an accident that happened at the Christmas jingles the night before. The Christmas jingles is the holiday show put on by the Sawyer Fire Department each year, and it's to raise funds to buy toys for the holidays. show took place at the Meldrum Thompson Middle School Gymnasium, and it was, I'm here to say, an event that will be remembered because of something my friend Binky Sears was a part of. In this case, Binky was asked to do a favor for the chairman of the committee, Reverend Ralph Fazool. Reverend Fazool sang tenor with the mellow tones. The mellow tones, their singing quartet composed of Tutti Manja Cavallo, Rusty Fenderson, Luther Pomeroy, and of course, Pastor Fazool himself. And Reverend Fazool thought it would be a lovely touch to make it snow on the stage during the time the mellow tones sang their Christmas set. And so he asked Binky to make a snow machine. So Binky cobbled up this device. It was like a large salt shaker that dispensed fake snow. And Binky made the fake snow by putting styrofoam in Fern's Cuisinart blend blender. This made teeny weeny tiny white particles. The night of the show, Binky stood off stage with a pole and he poked the shaker and the fake snow came down. It was wonderful. Except when Binky poked it in the wrong place and the shaker burst and there was a great avalanche. And right then, Bill Fribble, the school janitor, Bill decided to go outside to have a smoke and he opened the fire door off the side of the stage and the wind came rushing in and the audience was covered with that avalanche of minute styrofoam particles, which if you have ever used a saw on styrofoam, you know static electricity makes it cling to everything. Hence the monkey house down at the Buckerberger Dollar Dog that morning.